I'll be showing you guys how to connect Excel and Power BI to the Binance API. So for some of you that are actually traders and you like trading and you're also a data analyst, I'll show you how to connect your Excel to get real-time data from Binance. So without no further ado, first thing I'll go to my Edge. I prefer using the Edge. I don't know why. Because it's lighter. I go to my Binance.com. So I'm in Binance.com. I press Ctrl F. That's to find right. So I'm looking for documentation. There's an API documentation I'm looking for. Let's take documentation for documentation. So I see API documentation here, which I click on this. Cool. So I go to general information. So I can see the base endpoints here, right? So why would you find API link here, URL link? But I'll be using this, this one. You don't use this. For some reason, this the first one doesn't work for some reason. So I'll be using the one of API 1. You can either use API 1, API 2, or API 3. Any of these three work perfectly well. So I'll just copy this point. I copy this. I press window. I look for my notepad. So my, notes, my notepad, which is over here. So, my notepad. so I just paste it here, right? That's the point. So step two now, I have to look for, as I press Ctrl F again, I'll look for my symbol price ticker. So my symbol price, you can see my, you can see my symbol price ticker, right? So I'll also copy this here. I'll copy the API link, I copy this, I go to my notepad, then I join it to this by pasting it here, right? That's all. And I'll copy all of this. And I'll put my Excel. So, it's going to take a little bit of minutes. Open a blank workbook. I go to my data tab. I get data from the web. Paste the link, the URL link, which I just copied. I paste it inside here. I click on OK. OK. Now it has loaded. It has opened my Power Query Editor, right? But now the data section has a list data format. The records are list. I have to convert this to a table. So, from the transform, I go to convert to table. It's going to come back to come to a table. So it's showing me create a table from release value. I just leave, click on OK. I ignore all of that. I click on OK. So I have to expand this. So I expand this. I click on this button over here. Because you have my both my symbol and my price, right? So I click on OK. So let me just rename this as symbol. Symbol. So I'll name this as price. Price. So I'll change this type to a text type. I'll change this to a decimal. Right, let's, let me rename this as Binance. Binance. So let me just filter it because I know the, the, we have so many information, but I just want only USDTC, right? So I say USDT, right? Click on OK. So it's going to filter for only USDT. So you can see Bitcoin to USDT, Ethereum to USDT, right? So I just click on close and apply. Let's close and load. Actually, it's going to close and load for me. And voila, you can see how beautiful this is, right? See how updated it's real time for me. So you can see Binance, the price. Let me just change. It's all, it's all cool. You can see the Binance, you can see the price, you can see the Ethereum to USDC, you can see the price, right? It's telling that one Bitcoin to USDC is 47,000 US dollars and rest. So you can see how information, how cool this is, right? So the next now, I also do the same thing now in. So this same method can also be done using Power BI. So I also open my Power BI. And on my Power BI, so I go to get data. I get data from the web. I paste the link inside here. Click on OK. The same thing. You can build your dashboard. The beauty about this, you can also build your dashboard from this. That's how cool this can be sometimes. So let's just load. It's taking a little bit of time to load. Perfect, perfect. So... Voila, that's all. So just I can also filter this also. I sound only USDT. And I click OK. It's gonna filter for me. Also close and apply. And that's all. Let's bring out the table. That's all. So let's bring out the table. The table. Let me expand this a little bit. So the symbol and the price. That's all. That's how cool this is, right? So I hope you guys learned a lot. This video is brought to you by your BZ. And have fun, guys. Bye.